The bad news first, traffic. No matter what we do, it's going to get worse, much worse. Currently in San Diego, there's about eight miles of traffic jams at peak hours. And uh, the study showed by the year 2000 that if we do not build any new freeways, that'll be in excess of 100 to 125 miles of uh, freeway traffic jams. If we do build all the planned freeways we currently have, then the traffic jams will only be about 75 miles. Either way, it's still a significant increase from what we currently experience. The reason for all the traffic? All the people. We're growing by 42,000 people a year right now. By 2000, that'll be one million more people in the county. Where will all those people live? Well, this area, the Golden Triangle in North County, will see the most new growth during the next two decades. Growth you can clearly see has already begun. Nearly 2,000 residential units and more than a million square feet of office space will be added in the Golden Triangle in 1985 alone. The rolling hills that currently exist out the I-15 corridor towards Penasquitos will be developed. Same way along the I-5 where the North City West area is, where the rolling hills were before, you can already see the number of units that are going up there. Is all of this starting to sound suspiciously like Los Angeles? Forecasters say don't worry. Their crystal ball is a little clouded with potential water supply and air pollution problems. Problems you'd expect to go along with increased density. But they say San Diego's varied terrain will be her saving grace. I don't think that uh, we'll have the same problem for Los Angeles for two reasons. One is we have a natural terrain here of valleys that will keep us from having continuous flow of development everywhere, which Los Angeles doesn't have. And second of all, there, there isn't the amount of land available in the basin, like Los Angeles Basin, that, uh, that grew here in San Diego to accept all that growth. What growth there is in San Diego will come mainly from migration. 84% of the county's rise in population will be the result of either people moving here to retire or work. Rudy speaking. All of that will change the face of our town considerably. The region's residents here are definitely growing older. We expect the average age of the resident, which is currently about 30 years now, to increase to about 35 to 38 years of age by the year 2000. The average salary in 2000? $120,000 a year. That's about three times the average salary today. But your $120,000 a year won't buy much more 20 years from now. Take your average house, for example. Now it costs $130,000. I hope everybody's sitting down. <laughs> we forecast that there'll be three to $400,000 in the next 20 years. And that's just the average price of a home. And most people will probably want an average home. Now there's a small blip in the baby boom, which says that there's a lot of new families that are coming online. With those new families, I don't think that they'll accept the type of housing arrangements that exist and that, that they're offering downtown with no yards, small condo type. Uh, this will be a, a shift away from that back to the more traditional single family unit. Carlsbad could become the bastion of traditionalism by 2000. Predictors predict it will be the fastest growing city in the area. Downtown, will it grow as quickly as developers hope? Maybe out, but not up. The city's airport is probably one of the major reasons for that. Unless it moves, building restrictions will keep a certain part of the downtown squat. And although it's often discussed, there are no plans to move the airport in the next two decades.